I remade the most famous weapon. My friends, is I that the most the famous weapon? Updated the hungering cold or Slayer of the Lightless. If you're wrath, baby. Chat, what is your favorite? I think Thunder Fury is the favorite, no? The chief's on the back, and it looks like a million bucks while it sits there. Most famous sort in the game, though. How do you justify that statement? Behold. Sword of the Thousand Truth, right? You probably didn't even notice, but I've been doing a lot of mounts recently. And I don't want to be the one is the most favorite. So Ashbringer is pretty up. cool, too. Here I am. All changed up. Back to Maroon's <clears> redoing weapons. He Starting actually does a very good job with these. Thousand oh. The process that I began by taking the low poly 2005 base model and turning it into a higher res 2023 edition. If you see my I also say, man, that South Park episode was amazing. That's the only South Park episode I watched, but that was good. I, I want to rewatch that. Before this first step in my process, won't come as new. Frostmourne, Armageddon, Ashbringer. He did make me all the other ones a too. Qualified game artist. That's right. Oh. I now own a piece of paper that says that I'm able to make the things already in my portfolio, all for about the price of 23 wow. washing machines and a kidney, just in time for AI oh to replace God. me. And with that, completing the first step in our journey, I turn this, yep, that old thing, into this. Okay, it's a little chonkier nice and bigger. Well, that skull misses the mark for me. Are you dumb? <clears throat> yes, but let me explain. I'm going for a different workflow than I used in my previous weapon remakes. I'm not just going to model it by hand. And he should work with Amboni. Amboni makes really good games, right? And he can model for him. Dude, they could make something good. Get into substance painter. No, I was going to get into sculpting. The uprest model you just saw me make was only going to serve as a base for this. I first did these parts the old fashioned way, because when it comes to sculpting, making very smooth geometric shapes like you tend to see in weapons is quite tricky. Especially oh, when you're new I to like the craft. I like the little like dents on the weapon. New to the craft. But Tom, you just said you graduated. Shouldn't you already know how to do all that stuff? This looks great. But if you need a report about it, I'm your guy. I didn't give Stop watching a bit of Oh, am I watching? It's 720p. Excuse me. Okay, 1080p PPC. Destron recently though, in which I found it to actually be really intuitive. Oh, he's making a person too. Got out of it were pretty Holy. satisfactory, which gave me some confidence. So naturally, my attempt to sculpt this weapon turned out to be an absolute dumpster fire. I'm sparing you those parts in the video, but the tools didn't behave how I thought they should. The mesh didn't respond to them how I wanted it to, and everything was garbage. I must have redone this cool, every though. part of this weapon between like three and six times, often from scratch. For all of them, I tried multiple what does PPC mean? Approaches and techniques. PPC Looking means positivity, possibility, like community. Fighting. Instead, sorrow and existential dread. So if it looks like the aesthetic keeps changing here, well, that's why. This is anyway, goaded. What is this? With all that said and done, I finished my sculpt. So it doesn't quite get us there. <laughs> he got a models can often have millions of polygons. For reference, the original Hungering Colt has 374 polygons. That is indeed less. In order to make these ridiculously high poly sculpted models usable in game, you retopologize them, meaning making a low poly version. After which you use computer magic to bake the details of the sculpted version into that low poly one. That's science. Trust me. Oh, your map's falling off, my friend. I have a degree. And this is indeed the moment that all of our hard work so far has been building up to. Behold, my friends. I hope Next he didn't get DMC for truth. that. I went back to an old friend. Hello, Substance Painter. For hand painting textures, like I did in my mount remakes, I found 3D code to be superior. However, when it comes to procedural texturing, I don't know anything about 3D code. And I'm past the point where I'm interested in learning. I have a degree. So yeah, I got to work. <laughs> Why does he keep saying the that? <laughs> the blade. I made a mask in Photoshop, which I would import into Substance Painter and place upon the texture as a mask. I grabbed my trusty old drawing tablet and painted the other rune on the forehead of the skull. Because that's where it sits. Having the glowy bits already, I went in and laid a foundation of base colors this looks for like all a hot different components of the weapon. Stylized art design. involves exaggerating, yet simplifying a lot right? of shapes, which loses your detail. However, as you lose detail, you risk your work becoming plain oh, and boring. Oh, I like that. One thing I did in order to prevent this was adding some gradient into the texture. Also, that's how the weapon looks. Additionally, I laid the groundwork for some highlights. This part is very important for stylized art. Lighting and strong I get what you mean. Yeah, like you know in HOTS, like the texture they have, it's like Play-Doh. It looks play, like that. I wanted to make the light catch it in a way that looks nice and sword-like. To do so, I kept it simple and just did a bunch of manual painting. When it came to the skull, I wanted to have some nice lights and darks to really bring its shapes out. I once more did a lot of manual work here, rather than simply relying <laughs> on procedural texturing tools. Once I get better at sculpting, less of this might be necessary. Or not. 
whatever. Next, I went on and did some more work on the horns. I really wanted to try and give them some three-dimensionality with the texture. Lighting was once more the way to do so. And of course, the hilt. I can't forget the hilt. I started by giving it a base layer of highlight to break up the shapes. Then I went in and painted a good bit of dark and some light, trying to really make it pop. Oh, and I textured the gem. But it is popping pretty it? hard. And after some finishing touches and polishing work, we made it to the big moment. As Texturing. always, if you like my content, would like to see more, hit the sub button, hit the notification bell. While you're at it, drop me a like and a comment. You help me a lot in the algorithms. And unfortunately, uh, since a lot of people just skip to the end of these videos. Boy, could you <laughs> Dude, when he said people skip, I I, I would have done the same, to be honest. If somebody linked me this normally, I would have just skipped to the end and just watched it. Help there. I also just got to <laughs> learn how to make better videos. I, I know that's... But enough of that. Enough Get your eyeballs time. ready. Okay. My friends, the new and updated, the legendary, the hungering cold, the slayer of the lifeless, the sword of a thousand truths. It looks beautiful, man. Great job. Give me some cat spins in the chat. But this epic blade. Tank weapon. Looks clean.